Merry Christmas, Renegade Nation! Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters Itogi Keril, Blazer64, Andrew Larman, Mohamed, Karina Wang, Dark Prime25, Christian Andre Cavande, Benjamin Salisbury, Jonathan Caleros, Andrew Elliott, Kimber, Fabiola Macias, The Gaming Warthog, Daniel Anderson, Big Boy, Julius Urado Jr., Christopher Lee Scott, Soren Nielsen, Neil Bender, Austin Price, The Whiskey Laddie, Brian Emika Njoku, Deshaun Hurd, Andreas Van Hasht. Thank you very much for your support. And if you want to check us out on Patreon, we would very much like to see you over there. Everybody have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Take care, guys. So did you fall in? No. Well, he, he, I'm sitting here on the couch. I'm getting the next video ready to set up to record and everything. And all of a sudden, I just hear, I can't stop! <laughs> I can't stop! And I'm like, what the hell? What, I, what's he saying? I go up and I'm like, what's wrong, man? I thought he was like, I thought he was like yelling about like the, like, there was like a bug in there or something. Uh, you know, that was bugging the shit out of him. But he, I come up there, and he's just, uh, he's just like, he's like, I'm pretty much gonna be pissing for the rest of my life if this keeps up. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, damn. It must be bad. It's because I've been drinking Jaeger. Yeah. And I'm not sponsored, but I could be. So Go tw tweet at Jaeger. through him. And tell him to uh, tweet, or tell him to sponsor me. Well. Um, but then and we had a 23-minute long Badger video, and I was like, we got to the end of it, and I was like, how long is this fucking video? And I'm like sitting here like this the whole fucking video, like, Jesus Christ, this is a long video. Yeah. And then we get to the end of it, and I'm like, oh, no fucking wonder, it was 23 minutes long. Yeah. And then, like, we finished the video, and I mean, it was like, see ya! <laughs> Sound effects included, so. Yeah, except he didn't kick the bag last time. I didn't. It would have been funny if I did. Oh, yeah, it would have been hilarious. I, if I would have cut the video off before... If you'd have done that and I'd have clicked the video off before that happened, I'd have laughed. I'd have, I would have, like, shot myself in the foot with a tranquilizer dart. I'm not going to kill myself, guys. Instead, I came back and Nate's like, you know who this is? And I'm like, I have no idea who this is. Okay, so a year ago... Uh, actually, no, it's been, I think, more than a year ago... Mark Rober, a uh, scientist for NASA, I believe, uh, he helped design the Mars rover. He uh, is a YouTuber, and uh, he uh, has had packages stolen off of his front porch before. Ooh. And um, he decided... I've seen stuff like this. He, he decides to get a little bit of vengeance against them. Um... So, yeah, uh, we're not going to... Uh, there's a new one out of this. So he built a box with a glitter bomb in it, probably also with a GoPro in it, if if my hopes You'll see. Are up to expectations. You will see. But I just figured, what the hell, let's just dive into this and let's see what it's all about. This guy took a package from my porch, and now he's about to open it in his car, but what he doesn't know is this is a custom-built bait package that is recording him on four different cameras, and it's about to yes. unleash a pound of the world's finest glitter on yes. his surprises. But to understand how we got to this point, first, we need to rewind a bit. About seven months ago, I noticed a package hey, being Mark. recorded as delivered, Big but fan, it never dude. arrived, so when I checked our security cameras, I noticed this lovely couple out for a stroll. Fuck you, cunt. As you can see, they have backpacks on, and they're just going around the neighborhood making an afternoon out of this. And if you've ever been in a situation like this... It's okay to say it. They're being fucking cunts. Like, it's okay to say it. No, it is okay to say no, it. Nobody see, disagrees with you that they're being fucking look, cunts. I I haven't had anyone do that to me yet. It's because we live in a, a pretty, uh, like as far as I know, a fairly safe neighborhood. But uh, if, The bad thing is, that's the kind of neighborhoods people drive through looking for stuff. Yeah, and know. if... And, that's why I'm thankful I got roommates that get up really early, and if stuff's out there early, they'll come in with it, and they'll just be like, yeah, this was out outside, dude. Yeah. And I'll come in at random hours of the day and bring stuff in, too, so. Yeah, yeah, you, you bring it in, too. And I haven't had anything stolen yet. My mom has, in which, you know, that's one reason why my mom wants to have a security camera system installed outside of her house so she can see exactly who the hell it was. And I said, 
Mom, just get like a ring doorbell thing because they record all like they have a little thing on it where you can record on it and uh, yeah, just not have to worry about it. Even Andrew's had shit stolen off his porch and he doesn't even live in a neighborhood anywhere close to like this. So it's bullshit. It is. People are fucking assholes. They can be. But anyway, here we go. Uh, just get back to it. And then I took this to the police, and even with the video evidence, they said it's just not worth their time to look into. So then you also feel powerless. And I just felt like something needs to be done to take a stand against dishonest punks like this. And then I was like, hold up. I built a dartboard that moves to get a bullseye every time. I spent nine years designing hardware that's currently roving around on another freaking planet. If anyone <laughs> was going to make a revenge bait package and over-engineer the crap out of it, it was going to be me. So I started oh, with yeah. a sketch and some CAD, and then I hit up my buddy Sean, who is really good with this type of small electronic stuff, and we got to work. Ultimately, when they opened the package, I just wanted to celebrate their choice of profession with a cloud of glitter. Because, I mean, who doesn't love glitter? That's easy. I could just do that passively with like a spring when it opens. But I also wanted to record their reaction and that's what makes the engineering here an order of magnitude more difficult. <laughs> because if you think about it, this thing has to sit on a porch all day and it can't be plugged in. And you have no idea when someone will come and pick this up. So it's not like you could just hit record on the camera and then put it in the box because you're going to run out of battery and storage space. On top of that, I need some way to recover this footage in case I never get the bait package back. So after six months and lots of design iterations and so much testing, here's where we landed. This custom printed circuit board is the brains of the operation. It has a built-in accelerometer, and when it's jostled, it will check the GPS signal to see if it's been moved from the porch, and if so, it sends a signal to all the phones to wake up and start recording. And I'm using four phones that have a wide-angle filming mode and are angled back. And this 3D printed portion is contoured this way because it represents the field of view of the phones. So as you can see, I'm guaranteed to capture their reaction no matter mm -hmm. which way they open it from. And nestled in here, we've got a can of fart spray. No joke, you can clear <laughs> <laughs> with one spray of this stuff. So we made a cam on a small motor that sprays it five times. And not only is awesome. this just a nice touch, but we keep repeating five sprays every 30 seconds until they throw the package out of their car or house before they realize there's four phones inside. This increases our chances of finding it because we always know the package location at all times due to the GPS on the phones. But even if we don't recover it, all four phones have LTE data plans. So they upload the footage to the cloud so I can still see what happened. And then for the yes. piece de resistance, we have a cup here on top that spins from a motor underneath. So once you load in a butt ton so of the world's I was going to say, if you're banking on getting it back, I wouldn't really underestimate the, the abilities of assholes. Fires it evenly in all directions. Then we cut holes in the side of the lid and covered them with one-way film so two of the cameras could see them as they walked away. And then finally, to make it look like an actual delivered package, we added some shrink wrap uh. and a delivery label, which is perhaps my favorite part of the whole thing. Because if the thief wasn't in such a hurry, they'd see that the package is actually coming from my childhood hero and inspiration for this project, Kevin McAllister. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Awesome! I even looked up and am using the address <laughs> of the actual house they filmed the movie in. And of course, it's being shipped to his boys, Harry and Marv. Yes! <laughs> in the bottom. Bandit the way. Stolen in a given this day. man I is amazing. And then recharge all the batteries in the system overnight. So the idea is the bad guy comes and takes it off your porch, then lifts the lid, and these two limit switches tell the circuit board brain inside that the lid's been removed. And then that sets everything in motion. And I may be biased, but sometimes a well-engineered design is beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm so stoked to see the results of this right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful, man. Hell yeah. That's I need I need a we need a good slow motion camera nice for some of our stuff because oh that's just gorgeous. <laughs> it looks like fucking Jupiter. Kinda something. does. Yeah. You alright? You, you spill you spill alcohol in your eye? No, I because just the phones have GPS, mind. we created a okay. virtual geofence around my house. So I get a notification when the package has been moved off the property. So I put it out on the porch, and now all that was left to do was wait. <laughs> Okay, so I was at work and I got a notification that the geofence we set up had been tripped. So then I checked the cameras and sure enough, the package is gone. So I checked the GPS and sort of tracked it and it appears they're in a car because they seem to leave my house pretty quickly, but it seems to have stopped in a parking garage, which is where I'm headed to now. And Damn, if you're new here, like, this isn't a free fucking channel, like six so blocks I'm away. completely out of my comfort zone. And there she is. Oh.
<laughs> this is like recovering the black box of a crashed airplane. It would still work, even if I didn't get the box back. The footage would upload to the cloud, but it's just faster to plug the phones in. So I'm going to go home and find out how this somehow ended up here. So it appears he was Hell walking down the sidewalk yeah. and then suddenly makes a hard left. Yoink. Then he takes the package and gets in his car and eventually makes it to this parking garage where this glorious sequence unfolds. Stealing motherfuckers! Get out of here, bro. You shouldn't even have grabbed that. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't. Dumbass. <laughs> I hope videos like this deter people from ever stealing shit off people's porches. Take yourself out of here, for real. Yeah, get the fuck out. Uh -huh. He did it multiple times. Sitting there rotating, they're like, "Hold oh, fuck So the moral of the story is, just don't take other people's stuff. Not only is it, it literally not cool, just but on the plus side, in front of the you'll never find yourself in this situation, or perhaps even worse, this one. <laughs> Who you had in here? Who you had in here? This video is all about protecting your packages from bad guys with this six-month over-engineered monstrosity. You need to forget. fucking it's sell this. To yes, I would buy one. Bad guys, thanks to the fine folks at NordVPN, who also happen to be supporting this video. As you know, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, so you could surf the web anonymously, your location stays private, and your data is encrypted. And even though I'm not a bad guy with something to hide, I generate a spinning uh, Nord. Of data the thing about NordVPN, they got hacked. Which I would too prefer long ago. not to be used against me. But like ExpressVPN. What I use. And as a bonus, if you ever get a message about a video not being available in your country, technically, which is the click of a mouse, your computer can virtually teleport to any country you want. <laughs> and VPN is the Surprise. best because they're super fast yep. with thousands of servers across the globe. And they also have Apple and Android apps for mobile browsing, which are free with your account. So if you travel internationally or given today's headlines, that's actually the best advertisement that I've ever heard. Seriously, you can go uh, to it's like, you know, if it's blocked in your country, you can totally use this to just watch it anyway. For 75% yeah. off their three year plans. So it's nordvpn.com slash Mark Rober. And if you use the code Mark Rober at checkout, they'll know I sent you and they'll give you an extra month free. Thanks for watching. Ass nerf gun. That, that's a really big ass nerf gun. A big ass super soaker. Is that a snowball launcher? Yes. Hell yeah. Well, that's pretty vicious. That's awesome. Okay. Dude, I want to buy one of these. I've not even had a package stolen from me. I would still I... put it on my porch just to be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> just to be a dick to dicks. Uh, there's one uh, like package thief karma video I saw one time. Uh, this woman whose boyfriend like uh, like uh, drops her off at this house, and uh, she runs up real quick, grabs a package, and as she's running back, she slips and falls, and she dislocates her fucking ankle. She picks her foot up, her leg up, and her foot is like this way, and man, like and the dude look, has to carry her away. Yeah, I think I've seen that. And uh, and they and, and I was just like, that's what you get. And bitch. the dude goes back and still grabs a package and leaves. Yeah, dude, even if you don't, like, package it, like, with the phones, you know, like, 
just a similar mechanism that's gonna spray glitter all over the place. Just fucking sell that. Yeah. I I would buy like twenty. Yeah. I would put them on my porch. I don't even care if I get the footage of it. Just. I'm just like well done. Every time I see one missing off the porch, I just be like, yes. <laughs> just imagine. Well what done. Happened. Yes. Well done. Yes. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy entirely. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> fuck that guy. <laughs> or girl. But, but yeah, just whoever stole it, fuck them, because they're the ones being they're the one being assholes. They're the ones that have to vacuum their fucking room right now like twenty times, and they're still going to find little sparkles you on know? their shit like a year later. Because glitter, <laughs> glitter is the herpes of craft supplies. Exactly. Like a fucking my pillow was glowy for like a year after my ex girlfriend fucking left, <laughs> and because she she had like the glitter spray, didn't she? Mm-hmm. Mm. The glitter eye makeup and shit. It's like, even though she goes and takes her eye make off at night, it still fucking makes my shit sparkle all over the place. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Yep. Yeah. So, that's Mark Rober, and he is a awesome, awesome YouTuber, and an awesome scientist. I mean, there's several of his videos that are absolutely amazing. There's one he did where he made a hot tub filled with sand, and he blew the right ama- amount of air into it to where the sand, you could actually, like, you could actually, like, run your hand all the way through the sand. Hmm. It's really cool how it works. You have to get the airflow right in order for it to happen, and you can like, uh, you'll sit, you'll put a bowling ball on top of it. You can roll the bowling ball around and everything. Whenever the air is off, as soon as you turn the air on, bowling ball just goes, sinks right to the bottom. That's fucking crazy. Well, it's it's science, dude. I mean, Mark is one of the best science channels out there. Him, smarter every day, uh, the slow mo guys. Uh, they have, uh, I mean, there's all sorts of awesome, uh, like CGP Grey also. Uh, he's not really a full science channel, but uh, Veritasium, he's my, a great My limitation channel. of, like, science channels is, like, Electro Boom. <laughs> and, uh... All right, so here I'm going to make electric guitar. So it's easy enough. So you would just... It's like, and the, and the one, and the two, and the... <laughs> and uh, the Hydraulic Press channel. A Hydraulic Press channel, it's, they're, they're pretty cool. Welcome to Hydraulic Press channel... Today, we'll be crushing a full, entirely built PC <laughs> or something. You know. it's, like, it's like, today, we're going to be crushing my YouTube play button. My gold YouTube play button. Let's flatten this shit. I am surprised he hasn't done that, actually. <laughs> I want him to do that. <laughs> I want him to do that. And then after, he sends YouTube a message and just says, just says, hello, could you send me a new one? I break this one. <laughs> <laughs> that would be my favorite video he's done. <laughs> but, dude, there's all sorts of interesting videos by Veritasium. Yeah. I Ver- love his channel, though. Him and yeah. his wife are just fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah, I've, I've watched several of their and videos. And their cat, their cat is amazing, too. Yeah. Meow. So, again, everybody, uh, thank you all very much for tuning into this. Uh, this was uh, Mark Rover, uh, The Package Thief versus The Glitter Bomb Trap. So hopefully you all enjoyed this it. Dude's my hero. Yeah, Mark right. Rober is awesome. <laughs> Let's just say that Mark Rober is the man. So again, everybody, as someone who worked retail for ten years and got real fucking sick of people trying to steal shit from me, fuck it. Yeah, you're awesome, Mark. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. And until next time, signing off. I'm Nate. I'm Nick. And we'll see you in the next one, everybody. Peace out. Mm-hmm.